everyone, this is Shannon from the theirishscrapper.blogspot.com and today we are going to create um, a square pillow box um, from Stampin' Up's uh, holiday catalog. Um, I actually ordered this um, set in a bundle. So in the bundle you get um, a stamp set that's called A Little Something that has sentiments for all the different holidays. Um, that comes with the square pillow box thinlets. So today we are going to use those thinlets to create this pillow box, which I plan on using for gift cards um, since I do a lot of those um, for birthdays and holidays. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I have my big shot here and I have my magnetic platform already in the big shot and my cutting plate. What I've done is I've uh, taken an 8.5 by 11 piece of pool party. I've cut it in half at 5.5 inches. And I'm going to lay that down with the pillow box thinlet and run that through the machine. And you'll hear that little noise and you know it's uh, worked. It didn't break anything. Okay, so you can see that that will cut us out this piece, which will be one half of the pillow box. So I'm going to run it through the machine again to get the other half with the other piece of pool party. Okay. So you can see here now I have both of my pieces. Um, now in the sample you can see I've cut out um, the center portion of one of the sides of the pillow box. So I'm going to put this back into the machine and get the other thinlet. And I use the larger square and you're just going to kind of center that in the center of your box and run it through again. Okay, so you can see now, there you have your, your window uh, for your box. Okay, so let me move the big shot out of the way for a moment. Okay, so what I've done, um, as you'll see here, hopefully you can see that in the camera, these two um, sides are really your, your edges. So you want to be sure you score those nice, nicely with your bone folder. A nice crisp corner. And then you'll see here on these other edges, it's scored for you, but you kind of just want to use your hands to kind of manipulate that a little bit. You don't want to use your bone folder because it's not quite a straight uh, corner. Okay, and I'm going to do the same. Oops, I got something on there. Okay, and you can see here on the sample that I did, I've used a stamp from a little something uh, stamp set and I'm going to use the snowflakes and I'm actually going to stamp those in pool party uh, onto the pool party. So I already have that stamp mounted on block C. I'm going to go ahead and ink that up and you'll notice there's kind of a, an edge here that's rounded so I'm going to use that to go around the corner of my box or my window. Looks good. Let me just clean my stamp. And then since I've popped the window, I actually have a piece of vellum. And this vellum has a little hint of, you know, blue to it. So it matches perfectly um, with the pool party. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of my fast fuse here on both sides. And get that stuck down. Now I've cut the piece of vellum at about 
two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So it gives me a little extra wiggle room there. Let me close my ink. And then you want to put the adhesive onto those edges that you um, folded with your bone folder. So I'm going to go ahead and put some fast fuse on here and then we'll line this up. Um, I think this might be easier to do it this way. Whoops. A little, little piece of sticky there. Let me get that off. Okay. And then you just want to be sure, you know, you line these up pretty nicely. I think I'll actually lay it like that, flat, facing up, and just make sure I'm lining this properly. Hopefully I'm not in the camera. Okay, and just press down so you get a nice seal there. And then we're going to do the other side the same way to seal that up. I'll lay it down this way. Adhesive. I think I'll again make it facing up. I'm going to need some more adhesive on this edge here. If you don't get your adhesive all the way to the edge, you'll have a little gap. Now you can always go in there with some liquid glue um, and fill that up. Okay. And then the pieces that you kind of manipulated by hand earlier will just fold right in and you can either leave it that way um, or you could actually you know fold them in like you do a box you know where they intertwine with each other but for the video we'll just um, leave that like that and then you can always use the piece that your die cut out to create a little tag um, to go along with this um, I'm actually going to just use a piece of our, uh, let's see, what's this called? Our gold quarter, no, I'm sorry, gold one-eighth inch ribbon, um, since that's what I have on hand. So I'm going to cut a piece of this. And we can go ahead and tie that. I'm still losing, lost my edge there. Sorry about that. Okay, that's a little bit better. My bow is a little bit upside down. Maybe I'll put it towards the bottom instead of the top. To make it look like I did that on purpose. Okay, and I'll just trim that edge. And there we go. So I think these are really cute. I look forward um, to making more of these uh, little boxes um, over the holiday season. So... Uh, I hope you liked this video, and please let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.